peace and love. Sending you all positive energy. Have vibes. Success on your entrepreneurship. All love, all positivity. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You hit the like button and you leave me any comments or questions in my description below. Today, I'm out taking a rising walk. And I just wanted to jump on really quick and shed some light. I wanted to speak about how we are chosen. And when we are chosen, we have different callings. Okay? So, we all have a spiritual journey. We are soul mission that is written in the stars. I made a video yesterday and I was telling you all how we are connected to the stars, the universe. Okay. So we have our family's origins and we are born out of the family origins. And some of us have a soul purpose that requires us to break generational curses. So, when we deal with generational curses, they can be good and bad because polarity is manifested into the universe. So, it's just basically habits that we learn sometimes that is no good that we change in order to ascend in order to become better or there's some generational curses that we take on that are good from the individuals that have raised us you know we can have a great financial freedom um, experience where it's a great curse <laughs> because we know how to manage our financial possessions material things and have material things as far as houses and properties to pass down to our family members so that's a great thing but we all do know that the material wealth and the possessions doesn't define our true divinity our true divinity is defined divine defined by <laughs> actually our soul our internal work and that's the true beauty that lies within now my phone it's really dark because it actually feels good. I think it's probably like 70 degrees out here already. Maybe 1045 and rise out. So that's why my video looked a little dark. But as I was saying, <laughs> we all have been born in to break generational curses. Okay. So we have our different columns and we are divine right excuse the noise <laughs> we are divine right so what happens is we go out on our own we find out our soul purpose and we pursue it rather there's no one else with us but we continue on the journey we are not getting distracted okay we are not letting past experiences hinder our growth but we moving forward towards our soul purpose okay so it requires us to do spiritual work when we are brought here on this planet to be of light and of service and that's our soul mission okay so it's going to require for us to meditate, teach, 
produce content stay balanced with the mind the body the spirit soul and emotions okay and to continue persevering through our soul purpose okay and I just wanted to speak about also how we are shapeshifters and it's shown throughout the animal heads in the universe worldwide that we can transmit and transform into animal heads okay so we also can receive experiences from the deceased of them showing up in our dreams okay so when we are on our spiritual journey don't be afraid if someone who's went over to the afterlife come and visit you <laughs> it's a part of your journey it's a part of who we are we all can tap in and connect with the ancient ancestors connect with loved ones that went on to another dimension it's all a part of spirituality okay so whole purpose was to get on and let you know don't get distracted stay focused and if you are brought here to actually break the generational curses congratulations <laughs> it's a great energy to change things that's not so good into great things and be a positive role model for society to be an inspire and a healer and just a great theme of life so if you feel like you are alone because a lot of individuals that are here to break curses that are no good are sometimes often alone <laughs> but in reality they're really not because they have a powerful force above that's guiding us leading us to greatness and making sure that we are protected we are guided we are loved and we are not alone so always be familiar with that it feels so good out here <laughs> And it's really a part of our true divinity to actually tap into shape shifting, navigate in through many dimensions, picking up things that are essential for our growth. And no matter the challenging moments, persevering through them. Because as we continue to stay focused and we don't let anything distract us, we are rewarded. We are rewarded. We're adding pressure and we're adding our power to our life. And it's going to shape our character to become better. I always be familiar with that so under pressure I always work harder traumatic experiences they shape our character and they make us better make us better and find myself saying this all the time as I'm teaching we're going to have that deep physical traumatic experience and it's for growth it's for us to take those experiences that's not so good and transmit into something beautiful something positive something 
essential that will help us and also others because once we perceive a higher level of consciousness once we embody unconditional love 10 10 was on the clock we then express it outwards so i love you all I'm sending you all positive energy and high vibes and i'll be back with more i love you peace and love